That's it for Channel 3 Eyewitness News at 11. The Friday Night Football crew is ready to go right now. You're watching Channel 3 and Friday Night, Night Football, Football starts now! <laughs> From Channel 3 Eyewitness Sports, this is Friday Night Football with Paul Shaheen, Ben Bobick, and Greg Glover. Friday Night Football is brought to you by Food City. Value every day. And Sonic Drive-Ins. Enjoy all-American variety. Friday Night Football. All right, welcome back. Welcome in, everyone. Mid-October means playoff positioning and region championships on the line. Friday Night Football once again packed top to bottom. Per the norm, let's start with our big one. It's time for the Friday Night Football Game of the Week. Covered by Warren and Griffin. Local lawyers you love. All right, Saudi Daisy waited 22 years to win a region championship. A year later tonight, the Trojans were a win away from a second straight region title. Talk about making up for lost time, but not so fast. I reckon Ray County had a thing or two to say about it. I also assume sports reporter Ben Bobick has a little thing or two to say about it. Ben joining us live from the Eagles Den or Nest. Which one? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Paul. Oftentimes you can throw the script out the window when it comes to football games. But this one pretty much went according to script. You knew Ray County was going to try to run the ball. You knew Saudi Daisy was trying to throw them off their heels or keep them on their heels. Smash mouth football at its finest, but there could be only one 5A Region 4 champ. Golden Eagles and Trojans meet again. Region title up for grabs if you're Ray County and they came out looking like a team ready to be crowned. Vintage Eagle football. Jackson Langley running down your throat and into the end zone. Ray County with an early 7-0 lead. Special teams matter, people. Ray County punter Luke Miller found that out the hard way. A botched snap leads to Saudi Tutties. Hayden Maynard, the score. A holding call on the extra point would lead to that missing it so Ray County up seven to six at half first drive of the third quarter you try to bring Keyshawn Eubanks down as Nick Saban would say it ain't gonna happen a 40 yard touchdown two point conversion good 14 to 7 Trojans and it was a grind from here out Golden Eagles trying to stay alive with a tying drive as they get it first and goal that becomes fourth and goal real quick Saudi Daisy gets the stop and <laughs> Gets the win as they're now one win away from a second straight region championship with the 14 to 7 win. When everybody else gets to go to the beach, it's nights like tonight that make it worth it. And, you know, we told them to go out and fight, fight together, and uh, show the determination that we have. We were pretty physical tonight, running the ball, and, uh, you know, it was just really what we needed to do tonight. And that's the great part about this team. We, we multifaceted and, you know, worked out for us tonight. When you start to dissect this game, you look at the turnovers. Ray County turned it over when they were going in to score once, and of course, that one that led to Saudi Daisy points. The Golden Eagles are still going to the playoffs, as is everybody in this region. They'll go on the road to take on Carnes next week. As for Saudi Daisy, how about the Trojans? Three straight road games, three straight wins. They're still one away. They still have to beat Walker Valley in two weeks to officially become the region champs, but they have the fast track to a home playoff game coming up. But for now, hey, 14 to seven. Paul, I'm kind of cold, I'm not gonna lie. Why don't you take it away with the rest of the highlights so I can get a little warm. I love it. Love when you use air quotes and I love when a game lives up to the hype. Thank you, Ben Bob. Okay, at Baylor tonight, a slight orange theme with Knoxville Catholic in town. Two prized Tennessee recruits were battling Catholics Cooper Mays and Baylor's Elijah Howard. Cooper Mays did not play, but more important, was the playoff positioning on the line because everyone in this region, Jason McCauley, pick it up in the third, knocks Catholic down seven, but not for long. Keandre Jarman from eight yards out, tied at 20. Other way, guess who? That dude, Howard, with a big chunk here, weaving in and out. The Red Raiders now knocking on the door, so a few plays later, Neelan Jean doing it himself. One yard out, Baylor up 27-20. Under three to play, Baylor fourth down, icing it, Howard. Breaks free, 44 yards, book it. Baylor with a monster home win, 34 to 20. East Hamilton and Walker Valley tonight. The Canes have scored 177 points in their last three games combined, and they were at it again tonight. Play action, soft touch. Got him. Haynes Allard and Connor Thornburg. Foot race 
No contest. 50 plus yards, 7 nothing on defense now, just as dangerous. Cade Meeks jumped the route, returning it just shy of midfield. The Stangs get it back, though, and answer the bell. Griffin Broom, short yardage touchdown, 7 to 7. But like clockwork, the Hurricanes jump back in front. Adam Caudle rumbles in. The Canes rumble to another win. 38 to 7. Shout out Grant Reynolds. Howard at Hickson tonight. Howard's been on a roll, winning five of its last six and the last two. 61 0, 66 0. Off to a great start at Hickson. JV on Robinson around the right side, back to the middle and upfield. See you later. 70 yard score. 6 0. Second quarter now. Do I hear six more? Eric Johnson does. Taking the rock, doing his job. Howard keeps the pedal down 33 to 12. Let's hit the scoreboard. Tyner, well, no, Tyner's the last one. Let's start with Bledsoe. 33 to 8 over Polk County. Bradley Central, 49 21 over William Blunt. Boyd Buchanan, 37 34 over CAK. Anderson County takes care of Central, 47 15. Cleveland loses at McMinn County, 39-26. East Ridge all over Sequoia, 59-21. Grundy County blanked by Upperman. Sale Creek takes down Lookout Valley, 55-6. Marion County, ooh, nice to see them in the win column, 44-32 over Teleco Plains. Meigs County bounce back win, 24-3 over Oneida. Merrillville blanks Ottawa, 38-0. York Institute taken care of by Sequatchie County, 34-7. Silverdale loses <clears throat> Excuse me, at Knox Webb. Tyner, 67 to 18 over Webb School. The Friday Night Football <clears throat> Play of the Week, sponsored by Warren and Griffin, local lawyers you love. All right, it's Baylor's Elijah Howard. Call that name a lot, mixing track and football. Speed with a little hurdle. Excuse me. This, your play of the week, Elijah Howard. That was just first down, my friends. Ahead, South Pittsburgh eyeing redemption with Whitwell in town. CCS trying to take the next step with a Notre Dame win. And as always, we'll hear from bands, fans, and cheerleaders when FNF returns.